So all factors considered and, and metabolism, I think you brought up a very important point yes. that it's important to understand the metabolism of a particular child so yes. that we don't end up feeding too much when exactly. they really yes. need just, just a little bit <coughs> over time. Now, all factors considered. So how do these kids get to that point where they are obese? All right. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think mostly because they're children okay. uh, and children are yet to begin making their choices in terms of this, this is what mm -hmm. I want to eat. This mm -hmm. is the much that I'll eat. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow we'll have that mm -hmm. because, they're <coughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. because they're yet to make those decisions. Mm -hmm. I think it comes down to the parents. Okay. So it is the parent who's determining what mm -hmm. the child is having. Mm -hmm. Now, if the parent is working with the right information mm -hmm. and, and that right information will ultimately become will be visible mm -hmm. in the outcome in the child. Mm -hmm. But if it's the wrong information, okay. then we expect, well, some, so, some yeah, yeah th that we'll get to, okay, yes. all right. So, in, and someone was asking me earlier on today that is it only the foods that make um, people in general, but now that we're focusing on children, is it only the foods that we consume make, let's say the children obese, or are there other factors that also contribute to um, obesity, of course, and especially in children? I would talk of uh, if there is something that uh, a child will come with that mm -hmm. is, you know, personal to them, it's mm -hmm. metabolism. Okay. So their metabolic rate will really determine that. Mm -hmm. uh, up and above that, yes, it is food. Okay. And up and above that, the other factor would be how active they are. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and, and well, depending, and, and when we talk about foods, you're also mm -hmm. talking about the timing and mm -hmm. the portions. Okay. So I think those are the three main mm -hmm. uh, factors that will determine mm -hmm. uh, obesity or, or how big or how small a child is. Okay. So once you understand the metabolism of, of a child, mm -hmm. Uh, you look at how active they are. Mm -hmm. Some some children just don't love, you know, playing as mm -hmm. much as others. Yes, others too. So the one who's extremely playful mm -hmm. should not be fed the same way as mm -hmm. the one who's not as active. As, okay. In fact, <coughs> sorry. Mm -hmm. What should happen is mm -hmm. um, the one who is more active, mm -hmm. let them have a, a larger portion of carbohydrates because oh. they're active. They're okay. energy-giving foods. Mm -hmm. The one who's less active, mm -hmm. let their diet be more on the fatty protein side mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and less carbs. Mm -hmm. That way you'll be able to achieve the same body size okay. on them, yet right. the same uh, different mm -hmm. uh, activity levels. Okay. Yes. All right. Now, before we get to, to now the diet, let's talk about metabolism. Yes. So how, as a parent, how do I know that my kid, let's say, the metabolism is faster? and this other, one, this other one is slow. Because in our setting, I would say parents, you just fed. <laughs> and whether you, you're full or not, you're just, you're just given food. Yes. And you have to yes. finish that. The portion the, exactly, given. you have yes. to finish it. If you do not finish it, then we think that you're not, you're not full. So in terms of understanding metabolism and of course food portions for, let's say, different um, children, let's say in a household, how how would you advise the parents to, to like, what are they supposed to look out um, for and understand, well, this one takes a small amount of food or needs more carbs, and this other one uh, needs more fats and a little bit of the vegetables? Metabolism will, uh, the, one of the signals mm -hmm. is the activity level of the child. Okay. Uh, high, high, high activity children or mm -hmm. children in high activity, mm -hmm. they tend to have a higher metabolic rate. Mm -hmm. Children who are rather, you know, I just want to take it easy and mm -hmm. chill and do all that. Mm -hmm. Their metabolism is a bit slower. Slower, yes. Okay. Why? Right. Because uh, metabolism is also influenced by one's activity. It can be influenced. Mm -hmm. okay. The more active one is, mm -hmm. then the, you put a demand on the body okay. to begin produce energy for you. Mm -hmm. So it becomes uh, a, a more mm -hmm. effective mm -hmm. energy giver. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, but if so you, you can look at metabolism by the rate of activity of a child. Mm -hmm. That is mm -hmm. number one. Okay. Then you can also look at, uh, well, it can be affected by appetite. Mm -hmm. uh, appetite can be influenced by a lot of things. They could maybe be having a condition. But if you watch that over a period of time, like mm -hmm. say two, three months, the, the baby has no other conditions, has mm -hmm. no problem, mm -hmm. but uh, they just, you know, take small portions. Yeah. Like they would rather take small portions, mm -hmm. but often. Oh yeah. Okay. But small mm -hmm. portions, mm -hmm. perhaps the portion that you've uh, put uh, laid out for them, mm -hmm. they don't finish. Yeah. So you just observe that. Mm -hmm. Work with their rate. Mm -hmm. Work with their rate rather than forcing them to work to, with yours. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, then you observe that over time, because mm -hmm. that's again how children are about observation. Yes. So observe that over time. Mm -hmm. 
then find out, uh, is it because it's a problem, like mm -hmm. uh, say uh, maybe they have a condition, mm -hmm. or is it because they just, that is how they just like it. Yeah. So you begin to offer the portions according to how they want it, okay. but then over a period of, you know, okay. uh, yeah. frequently. Okay. So maybe you can space it like every two hours mm -hmm. or so when mm -hmm. they are awake or so. Okay. So yeah, work okay. with their schedule. Okay.